So one of the hardest things to do, man, there's a million hard things to do, but one of them is focusing on differentiators or deciding what to work on. What are the places we should apply our resources, right? Like if I only have, you know, we have this number of great people. And so we need to, we'd like to put those great people on the best, hardest problems we got are the problems that need the most solving or the problems that have, give us the biggest lift, right? So one of the questions, and some people don't do this, right? Some people are opposed to this. And so if you are, that's cool. And you can go to the next talk, right? And this basically this notion of filtering out commodity from custom. And sometimes we think something's custom because it's a process we have, but it turned out it might be really commodity. I've seen this before where people, you know, basically did a completely custom version of something like SAP. And then somebody came along and was like, man, why did we do that? Let's just change these 15 processes and we don't have to do any customization anymore. We're not much, right? So let's talk about it a little bit, right? Like how deep do we need to own it? And I'm going to use this hotel analogy. And in this case, we are a hotel company and... You know, like, what do I need to do if we're going to build a hotel or we're going to manage a hotel, right? So the things in the upper left are kind of like, what's the location it's at? What are the blueprints going to look? What are the rooms going to look like? What are the banquet facilities look like? And what, how fancy is this hotel, right? That's something we need to own. But it may be that we pay some other company for an economic analysis, or it may be that we hire an architect, right? But if we were like, owning the whole thing, kind of like some tech companies do. If we were going to own the whole thing, then we would have only our own architects work on this in-house, right? And the question is, do we have enough load for that? Does it make sense? Are they going to have enough breadth? Um, or are we going to hire other companies? Are we going to have trusted partners, right? Those kinds of things. And then when we decide what goes in that hotel, we have to decide kind of at a high level, we know a differentiator is like, what kind of pool is it? That's supposed to be a pool in the middle on the left. And then the bicycle is supposed to be like, what kind of gym are we gonna have? Is it gonna be a crappy gym in the basement that nobody wants to use? Is it this fancy thing? Because we're like a high-end hotel. Is there a gym across the street everywhere? Are we only gonna put, are we gonna incent some company to be a gym across the street and we're gonna give a membership everywhere? Like, what's the plan? Maybe we don't wanna be in the gym equipment maintenance business, but maybe some people in our org think we should own everything. So we put the equipment in, you know, or maybe we always do a franchise for the gym and we would see if that can work. Right, at least, and that could come with its own problems. Or maybe we want a certain level of grandeur in this hotel. And do we own the designation? Maybe we have people that pick the art. Do we have a art creation team? Like, what are we gonna do for that? How deep do we need to own? Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna solve any problems. I'm just gonna be like, hey, this is what we need to think about. How deep do we own the problem? If you look at housekeeping in a hotel, that in a lot of ways, you can make a lot of bad decisions other places and a great housekeeping thing might cover for that. Or bad housekeeping can ruin it. Right. And so do we own our own housekeeping staff? I don't you know. Like, like, do we have our own employees that are housekeeping staff? Do we do we uh, farm that out? Do we have contracting companies for that? Do we have a separate company for that? In some cases, we might decide we want control over it, but we don't want to own it. So we will create a subsidiary to handle just those things so that they can focus on it. They can own that. So. And the ones on the left, you know, it kind of makes sense. And the, the reason I'm saying, talking about this is we run into this all the time in tech. How deep do we own something? Do we need to own everything? Are we just doing business process? Is tech a side thing for the rest of our business? So in the hotel analogy, let's look at the bakery on the right. Okay. So we're going to want bread down in the lobby every day. It's going to be our trademark thing. So what does that mean? We could pick bakers in the local area and give them the recipe. We could fly bread in from a central baker. We might decide that we're going to bake bread because this lobby thing we've decided is so important. We're going to spend the money and build a bakery in every hotel that can bake that kind of bread. And maybe we'll do not every hotel, but maybe we've got a couple of hotels in a region. We'll have like a regional or a local group bank baker, right? So that bakery thing, we decided to get fresh bread. We could con we don't trust contractors. We're going to do it ourselves, right? And then the question is, where do we get the flour? Do we buy it off the shelf? This is a differentiator for us, right? Uh, maybe we need to grind our own flour. Maybe we have a flour company or we contract with a company to reserve capacity and create flour both out of wheat and other things that, you know, because some people have celiac, uh, uh, or out of other grains. Maybe we want an ancient grain flour and we can't find it anywhere. So we're going to 
create our own grist mill for that, right? And then you go, well, I want ancient grains. Now I'm going to grow my own because I don't know where we're going to get this, right? Like some of that seems kind of silly, but that's the decision we make all the time on tech and in other places, right? Am I going to build my own accounting system? Am I going to build my own HR process and HR uh, documents and other and my own health insurance, right? We're going to carry our own health insurance. Or are we going to outsource health insurance? Every one of these is what's the differentiator? What's the important? Do I need to go all the way down to grow in my own wheat? Have I got to create my own grist mill because I know where I can get the grains, but they won't last long enough. So we're going to grind them ourselves. Is every place going to have a bakery? Do we have a bakery strategy for this? Because we're going to use this bread as a differentiator. What? And this goes across all companies. What's the differentiator and how deep do you need to go? Do you need to own everything? You could pick the plan like a large airplane company did over the last decade to optimize, may possibly optimize profits. And they took some things that they used to own and they gave them away. And it may not have worked out because they lost control over that. The question was, what do you need to own? What are we optimizing on here? And is it our brand? Is it the product we have? Is it the experience? Is it our secret sauce? Is it end-to-end -end integration so we control the whole pipeline? What is it? If you're making large changes or creating a new organization, you got to decide what's important to you and what do you need to own? Is it everything, nothing, or somewhere in between? Have great thoughts.